SCP-294 is a truly mind-blowing object, defying all logic and reason. SCP-294 gives the outward appearance of a normal coffee vending machine. However, it is much more unique than that. SCP-294 has the astounding ability to dispense any form of liquid. You name it, SCP-294 can deliver it. The only difference in appearance of SCP-294 from a normal coffee machine is the keyboard touchpad with a standard QWERTY design. SCP-294 is just like any normal coffee machine. 50 cents is required, which can be inserted through the coin slot. The screen then prompts for the name of a liquid to be typed in. Once completed, a 12-ounce paper cup is placed and the specified liquid is dispensed into the cup. Upon scientists' first encounter with SCP-294, 97 total test runs were performed for the type of liquids SCP-294 was capable of dispensing, and the results were shocking. Requests included water, coffee, beer, and soda. Non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil, as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass. All liquids were successfully poured into the paper cup. It is also interesting to note that liquids that would have burned holes through the average paper cup did not affect the paper cup supplied by SCP-294. Additionally, after exactly 50 requests, SCP-294 would not respond to further requests. However, after a period of approximately 90 minutes, SCP-294 started to accept requests again. It seems this period was required for a restock within the machine. Scientists then proceeded to test out SCP-294's capabilities with solid material, but these tests came out negative. When asked to dispense diamonds, SCP-294 did not respond. It appears SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in liquid state. SCP-294 is currently being stored in the second floor personnel break room. Before the incident, any staff member was allowed to use SCP-294. However, preceding the incident, only personnel of level 2 or higher are now allowed to interact with SCP-294. The machine is also manned by two security guards of level 3 clearance at all times. Regarding the incident, it occurred on the 21st of August in 2005. Agent Joseph was trying to get a cup of coffee during his allotted break time at 9.30 a.m. Witnesses claim Agent Joseph wanted to see what it could do and proceeded to request for a cup of joe from SCP-294. Immediately, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and claimed he was feeling dizzy. Agent Joseph suddenly collapsed on the floor and that's when SCP-294 poured the requested liquid into the paper cup. Agent Joseph was taken away to the infirmary and the liquid dispensed by SCP-294 was analyzed. At first glance, the liquid appeared to be a mixture of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids. It was confirmed that the liquid dispensed matched Agent Joseph's DNA. As for Agent Joseph, he was able to make a full recovery after four weeks of rest. Further scans confirmed that he was not injured fatally and he was released soon after. All agents present at the time were reprimanded Security measures on SCP-294 were increased to avoid a repeated incident like this. Following this, further experiments were run on SCP-294. The first was to test out SCP-294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. A cup of SCP-075 secretion was requested, and SCP-294 proceeded to pour the correct liquid and the paper cup was able to withstand SCP-075's acidic qualities. SCP-075 is located approximately 200 meters from SCP-294's location. A staff member requested for a cup of gold, and SCP-294 proceeded to dispense a cup of molten gold. Requests for more precious metals were made, and all requests were responded to successfully. One researcher attempted a more abstract request and typed in anti-water into SCP-294's keypad. The machine hummed briefly, but then the text out of range displayed across the screen. Scientists theorize that SCP-294's range is limited and perhaps cannot reach into alternate universes or dimensions. A request for Diamond was made, but SCP-294 once again displayed the text out of range. Diamond is a form of crystallized carbon, and one would expect SCP-294 to dispense liquid carbon then. But seeming as liquid carbon is not technically diamond, the machine ran into an error. When a request for liquid carbon was made, however, the machine successfully poured out liquid carbon into the paper cups. Once again, the paper cup was able to withstand the substance's damaging effects. Next up, a more immediate experiment was conducted, where a mixture of bleach, cola, Met RX powder, and garum masala were combined and left on a container two meters away from SCP-294. 
When requested, the liquid was dispensed into the paper cup, and the exact amount also drained out of the container two meters away. SCP-294 has proven to be capable of dispensing practically any liquid, but its relation to more abstract and subjective matters has not been tested yet. A researcher, accompanied by a Level 4 staff member, punched in a request for the best drink I've ever had. SCP-294 dispensed a liquid that appeared similar to cola. The researcher tasted the drink and confirmed it was the same drink he had at his bachelor party five years ago. At the time, he was convinced it was the best drink he'd ever had. He was uncertain what ingredients were in the drink, and yet SCP-294 was able to deliver it exactly. Next up, one of the Level 4 staff members present proceeded to type in the best drink I've ever had, and SCP-294 delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. Additionally, the paper cup itself was printed with a picture of five men and two women drinking beer on a beach. The staff member confirmed that the best drink he'd ever had was a Vienna Lager, which he'd enjoyed at the beach with some friends. He does not recall ever taking a photo and is stunned as to how SCP-294 was able to attain that image. It has since been confirmed that SCP-294 is able to extract information from an individual's mind. Then followed the incident 294-02. A subject requested a cup of the perfect drink. SCP-294 dispensed an odorless lavender liquid. The subject had a sip and seemed to go into shock. The subject later committed suicide, leaving a note that said, I'm sorry, but at this point, everything's just one big letdown. It has since been highly discouraged to request for such a drink again. Meanwhile, the components of the lavender liquid have not been identified as of yet. An experiment was then conducted with another test subject, SCP-085. It is to be noted that SCP-085 is a 2D drawing that has a form of consciousness and prefers to be called Cassie. A staff member keyed in something Cassie will like into SCP-294, and an empty paper cup was dispensed with a 2D image on the side of the paper cup. The image contained a traditional soda fountain glass filled with brown liquid and topped with whipped cream. When the paper cup was taken and presented to SCP-085, she confirmed it was a chocolate banana milkshake and judged it delicious. Once again, it is to be noted that the paper cup was empty. A researcher then requested for a cup of music, a much more abstract concept, and despite doubts of fellow scientists, SCP-294 proceeded to dispense a cup of clear, sparkling liquid. The researcher claimed it tasted vaguely alcoholic. Then, the researcher began to talk of feeling a continuous rhythm and started to dance and move with much more fluidity than previously possible. In December of 2014, a massive security breach occurred, which resulted in four agents getting injured in the Level 2 break room where SCP-294 was contained. One of the agents that wasn't injured requested for a cup of pertinent medical knowledge from SCP-294, and the machine dispensed a cup of clear green liquid. Once the agent consumed this liquid, he was able to treat the other injured agents and save their lives. However, a few hours after the incident, the agent's medical abilities faded and he returned to his normal skill level. Other attempts to gain this clear green liquid were made once again, but SCP-294 seemed to refuse to dispense the liquid. Scientists theorized that SCP-294 offered this one-time cup of knowledge in order for its own survival. One scientist requested for My Life Story, and SCP-294 dispensed a vile black liquid. Once the scientist consumed the liquid, he claimed to have remembered every moment of the last 48 years and retired to his office. He returned three hours later with a 528-page autobiography. One researcher request consisted of the words, surprise me, and the machine then dispensed a cup of normal water, which was later determined to have been heated to 200 degrees Celsius. A researcher requested for The Blood of Christ and the text Hic est enim calix sanguinis mea, translating as This is the cup of my blood, displayed on the screen. A paper cup containing 0.12 liters of red grape wine was produced. A staff member requested a cup of the cerebrospinal fluid of Phoberomyce patersoni. The dispensed liquid is currently undergoing analysis. It is to be noted that Phoberomyce personae went extinct during the late Miocene epoch, approximately 8 million years ago. SCP-294's origins are unknown. It appears SCP-294 had always been located in the second floor break room of the SCP Foundation. It appears unusual that nobody remembers SCP-294 being delivered to the break room, nor do they remember ever requesting for a coffee machine. SCP-294 to this day still remains somewhat of a mystery.